Welcome to High Spirit Vlogs. In this video, we explore Kakum National Park and Elmina Castle. We'll be sharing our experience with you. As you can see, we're currently in the hired car on the way to Kakum National Park. It is actually a four hour journey from Accra. We left Accra at about 8 a.m. in the morning. Kakum Park's opening hours are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So we wanted to set off early so we don't miss out on the action. Just make sure that before you go on the trip, you carry some snacks and water with you. The journey was super long and really intense. And it was super hot on that day as well. And it felt like the journey was going on forever. So if you forget to bring snacks, do not forget to bring water. So you can stay hydrated throughout the journey. The cool thing about traveling to Kakum Park was that it was an opportunity to see the rural parts of Ghana. Also, another tip is to make sure that you carry enough cash so you can buy tickets or food for when you get to Kakum Park. When we got there, we found that there was no cash point or anywhere to convert our currency. Luckily, I had brought some cash with me but it would have been a complete waste of a journey if we did not bring any cash with us. So make sure you bring cash with you before you venture outside of Accra on a long road trip. We finally arrived at Kakum Park and I must say it was so hot. I could feel the sun beating down on us. Make sure to also bring sunscreen, especially if you know you're going to be exposed to the sun for a long period of time. That African heat, <laughs> is no joke here's the reception building where you have to go to register in order to get your tickets before entering the national park the process of getting your tickets was pretty straightforward another thing to mention is that they have two price tiers one price for non ghanians and a cheaper price for Ghanaians or those with Ghanaian passports so if you happen to have a Ghanaian passport make sure to bring it with you so you can get your ticket cheaper it's always nice to make a quick saving wherever you can Kakum park is 607 square kilometers of protected forest within the forest there are wild animals such as forest elephants leopards and a wild diverse group of monkeys the forest is very vast and really deep so we actually did not see any major wildlife but there are options to stay the night on an organized camping site where you'll be more likely to see wildlife. Even though we did not see any wild animals, it was so refreshing to be so close to nature and appreciate its beauty. As you walk through, you'll find that the trail is very hilly. We definitely got a workout from it. My heart was literally racing throughout. While you walk through, you may see other tourist groups along the trail and if you want you can follow a particular group and get a descriptive tour with their tour guide. As part of the Kakum Park Tour, you will be required to cross the bridges that connect seven treetops. I have to say, I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie, so I jumped at the chance to tempt fate and to admire the forest from an elevated view. It was a fantastic experience. If you're more of the conservative type, one thing to know about the bridge is that it does look scary at first, but once you make your first step, the fear will slowly go away. Please bear in mind that the bridges are very safe to walk on and you will get a great sense of achievement once you cross all of the bridges. There are actually a series of bridges you'll need to cross throughout the tour. In addition, you'll be rewarded with unique and epic views of the forest. I mean, look at that view, absolutely breathtaking. And trust me, it looks even better in real life. After Kakum Park, we then went on to Elmina Castle. Elmina Castle is actually located on the coast of Ghana. It is about an hour drive from Kakum Park. As soon as we arrived, you see the blue skies, the beautiful coast, but in contrast, you see Elmina Castle, which represents horror and pure evil. This was the last place that thousands of African slaves would ever see their homeland. 
before going on to the transatlantic slave trade. Many horrors happened here, which have never been erased by time. This was the first European slave trading post in Sub-Saharan Africa. These castles were built between 1482 and 1786 by numerous traders, including the Portuguese, Swedish, English, Danish and Dutch. Elmina Castle held slaves in dungeons and subjected them to all kinds of torture, humiliation and death. As we walk in, it was very airy to think about all the pain Africans felt being locked within these walls. The dark airless dungeons in the basements were oppressive and received sunlight from only two tiny windows. Throughout the tour, I was thinking, what if this was me? How would I react? I just couldn't even begin to fathom what the African slaves went through. The tour of Elmina Castle is very interactive and the tour guide did a great job in painting a vivid picture for the audience. There were times during the tour where we would go into the dungeons where the African slaves were held just to get a feel of what it must have been like. It was a very emotional and impactful experience. Within Elmina Castle, there is a museum that basically gives you a detailed overview of Ghanaian culture, history and its people. It is great to visit if you want to further deepen and enhance your knowledge of African history. I'll give you a little snippet of the tour guide. The tour guide was amazing and he was a great storyteller and he really sucked us into the narrative. And the person stands here, whether there is rain or sunshine. And they did that to serve as a deterrent to the rest of the women in the dungeon. So next time, when you are called to do something, quickly come to me. Okay, now let's Overall, it was an impactful experience that will stay with me for years to come. I would definitely recommend you to visit and expand your knowledge on African history. So that's it for today's video. Remember to subscribe and like and also click the notification bell so you are made aware whenever we release new videos. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.